Hi, this is Narayan from Sunya Technologies. Today I am going to explain how to create console application in VB.NET using Visual Studio. This is the introduction program. First launch the Visual Studio, go to File, New, Project. On left side we have multiple languages like Visual C Sharp and in other languages we have Visual Basic, Visual C++, Visual F Sharp and Python. Today we are going to discuss about Visual Basic. Click on Visual Basic and here we have different types of project templates. I am selecting console.net core. What is console.net core? .net core is a project for creating a command line application that can run on .net core on Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Here I am providing project name as VB introduction and provide location here but I am leaving as a default click ok new project is created on right side we have multiple tabs here we have solution explorer solution explorer contains collection of all projects so here this solution contains one project but we can add any number of projects if you don't find this solution explorer then go to view and click on solution explorer or shortcut key control alt l this solution explorer contains vb interaction project and here it contains two folders one is dependencies another one is program.vb dependencies contains collection of predefined assemblies we can use these assemblies in our application and another one is program.vb extension for vb.net files is dot vb double click on program dot vb and file open this file contains multiple statements first line is namespace namespace is a collection of classes it can be used to organize the code and this file contains module and module name is program and it contains one sub procedure and procedure name is main this sub this main sub procedure taking one parameter as array of strings and contains one statement console.writeLine hello world if you want to execute console application go to debug and here we have two ways one is start debugging and F5 or start without debugging and shortcut is control F5 we will execute this program without debugging that means start without debugging and we are getting output as hello world console.writeLine statement is used to print the output in command prompt. Module contains procedures, functions, properties, events. Here we can we can create two types of methods in module. So here types of methods, functions, subprocedure. Function contains collection of statement and it's return a value. Subprocedure contains collection of statements and it doesn't return a value. We'll discuss functions and subprocedures over programming. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Create function and procedure sub addition and this procedure taking two parameters by val i as integer comma by val j as integer and print console dot write line add i plus j and create function using function keyword function manipulation by val i as integer comma by val j as integer as integer return i into j if you want to execute this procedure and function then we need to call from main method addition 4 comma 5 multiplication here multiplication method taking two input parameters and returning integer so pass arguments 4 comma 5 and store it in integer variable dim result as integer console dot write line multiplication and print result Execute this program without debugging that means go to debug start without debugging 
Here we are getting output as hello world, addition 9, multiplication 20. We will execute this program over debugging. So put the breakpoint in main procedure. So execution from, start from main method, go to debug, start debugging or F5. Debugging starts from this breakpoint. Here I am clicking F11 for to execute line by line. Now here addition of 4, 5, F11. It goes to addition sub procedure. Here i is equal to 4, j is equal to 5. And here we are adding the value 4 plus 5. We will get the output and displayed in command prompt. Here addition is equal to 9, F11. The next statement we are calling function multiplication. Here we are passing 4, 5, F11 i is equal to 4, j is equal to 5 and then 4 into 5, 20 and that output we are showing in result. Here result is equal to 20 and print the result. That's it for today. If you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.